when you are um, doing rhinestoning, mm -hmm. I often have a design, but how do you transfer that design on the dress? Um, you mean as far as like calculating how many rhinestones you need? No, where no. they actually go on the dress? No, uh, the design, say there's flowers, there's whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I draw it on a piece of paper, but how do I transport it to the dress itself? I would just draw it with the disappearing pen, with the purple pen that, that fades. Okay, okay. Especially if it's something artistic, because then I can draw relative to the size of the body. You know, okay. so if it's a big body or a little body, when they do tattoos, I think they just, whatever they draw on the paper is exactly what goes onto the skin, where right. the exact same size, everything. But whenever, if I have an idea of what I want for a stoning and I sketch it out, I st for me, on a dress, I want it to be relative to the, to the size of the woman wearing it. So if I don't know what size I want, let's say I want a flower and it's going to be all a b rhinestones then i might cut out a white i'll take a white scrap piece of lycra or white scrap lining fabric and i'll cut it out in the shape of the flower that i think i want and hold it on the dress or on the client and pin it on there so i can step back and take a photo or look at it and say is this flower the right size or is it too big or too small Okay. That way you can get your size proportions. So if you're going to have a lavender flower, use lavender fabric. If you're going to have yellow rhinestones, then use a yellow rhinestone, you know, yellow fabric. That way your the color of your fabric choice sort of mimics what the ultimate color of the rhinestones will be. Usually I just kind of go <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did with this dress yeah. also. And it worked. I great. didn't know what I want to do, but then I thought, okay, do this and yeah, done like that. Yeah, no, it, it, well, and every, every um, rhinestone design is different because with something linear like your dress, it's very easy to do it right on the, dre on, on the dress form and just bam, be done with it because it's very linear. If you are doing something that has lace, then the lace you can play around with and move to get the exact shape you want. So that makes it easy to determine where your rhinestoning is going. But if you want to create a rhinestoning pattern that sort of mimics the look of lace, mm -hmm. then you can either eyeball it and hope you get it right, or you can, you know, cut out the scrap fabrics like I mentioned, and that gives you a ballpark of are you are you close enough that you can start rhinestoning and then expand from there okay okay i've seen so, people using the heat bond they put it on a fabric and then attach it to mm -hmm. the dress but then it makes it heavy and bulky on the dress yeah and i've i've not done that because i just still do the one at a time like most most of us in the in this industry do just because that way we have we have we have more control if we do mm -hmm. create an entire heat bond sheet we have less it's like doing a tattoo we don't have a whole lot of control once we create it so if it's too big or too small for that person's body we're out of luck and like you said it's it's a little bulkier than just gluing the rhinestones yes. right on so, okay, that makes sense. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. You're welcome. It is that because when you get to the rhinestoning part, you kind of hate to mess it up. <laughs> uh, Louise says, if you are using a set pattern that you want to duplicate all over, then a quilting stencil would make a great pattern. Do they make um, things where you can? Well, they can make that. You, you can buy a plain sheet and draw your design on the sheet, and then actually poke your own holes in it. Yes. And then I use, use that and do you use the chalk pencil to mark the dots on the mm -hmm. leotard. And then wherever I mark a dot is where I put a stone. Let me pull up my board on painting and dyeing here. Might as well just go to screen share. So like a lot of this painting that they do on here, they mm -hmm. do with the stencil. And I think I have saved some of it. Oh, see now this would be a really cool idea. I don't know if we could make that. 
that would be so freaking cool on a dress hot glue and some, all this is hot glue this is hot glue this is hot glue that would be so cool on a dress i don't know if it like if they made a glittery glue or they, they came do. out a color they do they do ah oh, that would be that would be so awesome and then you could just put rhinestones kind of in the middle of all these or rhinestone like the edge of the tree that would be super cool um but what i'm trying to see if they if i've got but are they any, using the glue as a resist um meaning they put the glue on the dress and then they paint their areas different areas and then they peel the glue back off um no See, like I, you with this one picture you're just passing with a rose one picture with the rose oh. on your left hand side go up okay here oh, right there one. yes mm -hmm. You see how they, it's like they have the glue there as a resist and they're painting it within that. And then when they peel the glue off, it leaves whatever base colors there. Mm -hmm. That's how they do batik, uh, batik materials and quilting. Right. Okay. They put a resist on it and then they dye it. And then they'll put another resist with another pattern and re-dye it. So uh, it comes off different pat, different colors. Yeah, I, I don't know because to the best of my knowledge, nobody has done this hot glue this 3d look on a dress i've seen it on project runway but i haven't seen it on a dance dress yeah me neither i just think it would be cool and if it was on fabric you would want to leave it there because it would be almost impossible to get it off but i do not see a little tim i was hoping on here that i had where they showed the template of how they do these because it's using like a, a um uh, blah, 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 blah. like the stencil that Luis mentioned or some of them had um, uh, like a really thin cardstock so if you don't um, don't want to make a special trip to the store and you have cardstock around you could use that as your stencil uh, we'll stop share all right cool beans okay. then all right I'm signing off ladies <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you at the end Bye. of the month. All righty. <laughs>